Race day uh, once again. Uh, about to leave to head to Bucknell. It's Friday morning. I race tonight at around uh, like 10 o'clock, I think. It's going to be a pretty late race. Ended up getting in the fastest section of the 5K tonight. Looks pretty dang stacked, so I'm really excited about it. It's going to be me and Ryan. Ryan's racing unattached, um, but it'll be nice to race with him again, kind of work together a little bit. I think I just got to hang on a little bit, you know, hang on for dear life. So we'll see uh, what happens right now. About to head to the bus. Got like a three hour bus ride over to the hotel and going to kind of chill out there all day. And then, uh, yeah, head to the track around like seven or eight tonight. That's basically it for right now. I will talk to you guys maybe after the race, maybe before. We'll see. Finally back home after a bit of traveling and wanted to sit down and kind of go over everything that went on um, this weekend. So it was a really, really good weekend for me. Um, it was a really good weekend for the whole track team, really. A lot of great performances around the whole entire team. So that was super cool to see. Um, 5K went well. Really happy with how the 5K went. Ended up running 14.28 for a five second PR. So really happy with that. And really happy with kind of the bounce back from the other two meets I've already had this outdoor season that haven't went really according to plan. It was nice that, uh, you know, I started the season out with 14.53 at Raleigh, which was like devastating to me at the time. So it was nice to see that I could kind of bounce back and get a good race um, under my belt before conference. So kind of how it played out, uh, it, my heat was hot. Like it, it was probably one of the better races that I've ever been in um, besides cross nationals, probably the best track race I've ever been in. Um, standing on the line, a couple of guys went up and they were like, just to let everyone know, we're pacing for 67s. And I was like, dang, so this is going to be that type of heat. Uh, I think it was 1 in 1357. Um, so, but it actually worked out pretty well. Obviously, I didn't want to run that fast, um, but there ended up being kind of a chase pack that I kind of set in for the longest time. Um, so really, really kind of like how that played out. There was that big lead uh, front pack and then uh, me and a couple others were in kind of a little chase pack and Ryan, uh, my teammate was in there as well, running unattached. Um, so it was nice to work with him a little bit, um, but didn't really do a whole lot of leading. It was kind of just sitting in that pack and I was content with how it was being ran. So I didn't feel that I needed to do any work there. Um, I kept, Rube kept telling me that like 68s, 69s, kept hearing that, heard a couple of 70s here and there. So I was perfectly content with kind of just hanging out. Uh, 68 and 69s was perfect with me. Um, and it, it was 
honestly like amazing like everything was kind of like falling into place and it was really cool during the race came through the mile um, 436 which I think is the fastest I've ever gone out and I really like that we fell off a little bit uh, the second mile I think we ended up running like a 442 or something like that came through two miles in uh, 918 or 3200 um, 918 which I think is a little bit quicker than I've done before usually I'm around like 920 so when I saw 918 I was pretty excited um, and then from there um, kind of worked down a little bit uh, Rup, I was I was pretty antsy to kind of start going a little bit especially once I saw the two mile split and saw we sl slowed down a little bit um, but Rup kept telling me to keep patient and then around like a K uh, to go he told me to you know put the hammer down if I wanted so it was me and one other um, guy that kind of broke away from our little chase pa chase pack and uh, at around like 1K, I went up into the lead. Um, between, by the lead, I just mean like me and him. Um, so I went around him and I started leading a little bit and I probably led until about like 400 to go and then he went back around me. Ended up having a pretty decent close, um, 65, which uh, honestly I was pretty happy with considering I didn't feel like I was running very fast. I thought I was kind of melting to the track. I ended up after like once I hit a K to go, I started to really kind of feel everything come down on me and I was like, uh oh, like hopefully I can get to the line. But I'm going to throw up my splits because I'm really happy with how my splits looked. I think my slowest split was 71.0 and my fastest split besides the kick was 68 mid, I think. So super even race. I was really happy with how I ran. But overall, just really pleased with the whole experience. Really like how everything played out. And I have to give it up to Bucknell. That was one of the coolest races I've ever been a part of. But like, I really, really enjoyed uh, this outdoor meet. Probably one of the coolest I've been to. The facility is super nice. Um, everyone's kind of like standing on the track yelling at you. It was super cool. There wasn't like Sometimes you get to those meets and there's just like so many right here. It was kind of just like everyone was just around. It was super cool to see. And on top of that, I met so many cool people here at this meet. It was probably like 10 plus people that came up to me and said, what's up, which is I think the most like I've ever had in a meet. It was crazy. Like I felt like both days that I was there, um, so many people were coming up and saying what's up. So that was super cool. Really appreciated uh, meeting all you guys. That was super fun. I love doing that. Uh, but that's basically it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next one.